Hi guys and welcome back to the Premium Press video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the advertising options within your Premium Press theme. So let's get started. To begin, log into the admin area of your WordPress website under the premium press options, we click on advertising. From this page, we can see all of the current campaigns on our premium press website. And these are basically the banners that users or you as the admin have added to your website. So as you can see, this is a new installation, so we have no campaigns. So let's go ahead and create a new campaign. So to begin creating a new campaign, we simply click on add campaign. And from this page, we can go ahead and set up a new advertisement. Now, before I show you how to create the campaign, let me show you where the um, locations are. So within this theme, we have predefined locations where you can place your advertisements. So for example, the header, the footer, the account page, etc. And to show you where those are located, I'm gonna enable sell space. Now sell space is um, the ability to sell advertisement slots on your website to the general public. So a user can come to your website and add their banner to your website for a fee. So we would enable cell space and we will enable all of the sample slots just so I can visually show you where all of the locations are found. Now what I'm doing here is I'm enabling the banner. So this means that the user can purchase this banner and then I'm enabling this sample, which means it's gonna display a sample banner so you can see where it would be displayed. So let me show you. If I go over to our website and give it a refresh, you can see now this header banner, which refers to this one, the header, is displayed at the top of the website. And it's displayed with text saying advertiser here, which means the user can click on this banner, go to the advertisement page, and purchase the header banner slot. As the user, as the admin of the website, I can also add my own banners here. And this is how we do it. We go to the admin, back to campaigns. We click on add campaign and we would select the header slot. So this again refers to the header slot on your website. Now the header and footer are global values. They're global um, locations. So they're displayed in the header and footer for the entire website. There are some values such as the blog sidebar, which is displayed only on the blog, search page, single page, etc. Now the second option is to select a banner image. And as I haven't uploaded any banners yet, there's no option available. However, we can also add banner code. So if you set banner code, such as your AdSense or any of your custom banner systems you may be using, you can copy and paste the banner code here and that will be displayed. And for this example, I'm just going to use the word testing just so you can see where it will be displayed. Now I would set a banner link, which means the link that the users would be redirected to when they click on the banner. I would set an end date for the location, uh, an end date, sorry, for the, um, the campaign. So I would click on the date stamp. Let's give it to the end of the month. I would set the status to live. And obviously, um, as it's a new banner, there's no clicks or impressions. And as it's the admin, I can leave the user ID blank. If you set a user ID, the banner will be located on user's account. And this would be displayed usually if a user has purchased this, uh, this banner. Okay, so now we've got a new campaign. As you can see, the location is the header. It has zero impressions and zero clicks. And if I go to our website and just give it a refresh, you can see the testing um, display value is here. So this would obviously be displayed as a banner if you entered your banner code. But since we haven't yet uploaded any banner images, it's just displaying this text. So let me show you how to upload an image and set that instead. Again, under the advertising section, we can click on banners. We select add banner, and then we upload the banner. We select the banner we want. Once we've uploaded the banner, we can go back to advertising, campaigns, and we can edit the current header banner. We would remove the banner code as this takes precedence over the banner image. And we would just select the, um, the banner we want. Save settings and go back to our website and give it a refresh. And as you can see now that the banner has now been displayed, the banner image is displayed instead of the banner code. So it's a very simple, um, but very um, easy way to add banners to your website. And again, and under the campaigns, if we edit this campaign, you can see there are a number of different locations. So I could set it in the footer instead. I could change that to footer, give the refresh, scroll to the bottom of my website, and as you can see, it's now in the footer. 
so I can add my own banners to the footer. So now let me show you how to um, add sell space so you can sell banner space on your website to the general public. Firstly, let's click on sell space and confirm that we've enabled sell space, which means the advertisement options will be displayed to the users. And also ensure that you've selected at least one banner so that users can purchase um, advertisements from your website. If you click on end actions and any of the edit options, you can change the title display, the banner sizes, description, and set your own custom pricing for this banner ad. Now let's go to the website. Here you can see all of the advertisement options that are available. And as the user, they can see this page and purchase a banner. So for example, let's purchase the account of top, the account page top. So let me show you this film. As you can see, we have two enabled here. We have the header and the one underneath it is the account page top. So let's for this moment disable the header. So if I wanted to disable the header option, I can go and disable this. Give it a refresh. Now I just have the account page top. So if I wanted to allow users to purchase advertisements um, in this slot here, I would uh, enable the account page top. So the account page top on a cell space. And then when users come to my website and click advertise here, they can purchase this account page top. I would go ahead and purchase this. Turn to my account. And this is as a user, they can then go ahead and add advertisements. They'll do it from the right hand side menu under advertising. And here you can see we've got account page top is pending. We can see the banner advertisement space that I need to um, add a, a banner to this page and the time left on the campaign. I can also view statistics such as the views and clicks. I would edit the banner as a user. I would select a banner, enter a link that I want the user to go to. When they click on the banner, click save. And now when I view my thing, when I view my advertising updates, I can see the banner is now live. And the top of the account page, as you can see here, the banner is now visible. So that would be how a user would add um, advertisements to your website. Obviously, if we go back to the admin, under premium press orders, I can now see that the user has purchased the banner. So this is obviously displayed here to the user. Under my campaigns, I can also see here that the user has purchased um, the banner space account page top. It has one impression, zero clicks. If I go to the website and just refresh it a few times. So let me give it a couple of refreshes. As you can see, the impressions are also updated. And if I just give it a click and then stop it, give it a refresh, I can also see that the clicks have now been updated too.